Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is December 9th. It is report day. Uh, we've got corn up, uh, starting the day off, up a couple cents, up two. Beans up two and a half with wheat up three and a half. So things are starting off a little bit better. Are we going to, well, we're going to see some short covering today after this report. But going through the numbers, we are looking for an increase in ending stocks for both corn and wheat with a slight reduction for beans. So the average trade guess for corn, uh, 1.768. In November, we had 1.76. So a slight increase for corn ending stocks. For beans, looking 462 million. Um, in November, we were at 465. So as I said, a slight reduction on beans. And then a slight increase in wheat, 918 million carryout. Uh, last month we were at 911. So, uh, so we'll see. But I think a lot of this could already be could be played in already. I mean, we've had a a sharp decline early this week, strong last week, but we've taken a lot of that away, and uh, a lot of the uh, I think a lot of the market's going to be watching well, what's coming down the pipeline. What's going to happen tomorrow as you get Argentina's new president starting. Uh, where are they going to go with their taxes? Are they going to cut their tariffs? Where is uh, What kind of plan are they going to enforce as we go forward? And then next week, the 15th and 16th, we've got the Fed meeting and we've got Janet Yellen probably going to raise rates next week. Chances are, and looking at uh, a lot of these reports that have been out, uh, that we probably will see some kind of a rate hike before the end of the year. So the dollar, though, right now dropping pretty hard. Uh, it is down 70 cents once again. That's giving commodity strength uh, across most of the commodities. Um, and even has crude oil working higher this morning. So crude has uh, really fallen, fallen off after we've seen OPEC say they're going to keep production the same. They're not cutting production earlier this week. And we saw crude oil break down into some new lows. Well, now looking at it, uh, it's up about 33 cents, still remaining under $40 a barrel. Uh, but watch some of this outside influence as we get closer to that Fed decision uh, next week. Now, cattle and hogs, a little different story. We are sharply lower in cattle again, uh, down about a buck twenty. Hogs are falling back more than a dollar right now as well. Box beef for cattle, choice up 127, select up 37 cents. But it was the trade yesterday, uh, 188 trade in Nebraska that, that correlates to about a 119. Um, we also saw 117 to 120 trade in Iowa. So that should be right around this. This 119 area is probably where we should end up seeing futures. You've got December futures right now at 120.70, still sitting above that 119 level. So keep an eye on that. Cutout values for hogs dropping pretty hard, down $1.79. That's what's given us a little bit of a pullback here this morning as well. But uh, stock market down 39 cents. Crude oil up 33, as I had mentioned earlier, and the dollar drifting, uh, drifting lower, down 70 cents right now as well. So give us a call. If you have any questions, the report is out at 11 o'clock today. We'll be glad to answer any questions that you may have. 800-262-7538 or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. You guys have a great day today, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.